In this video, we are going to see that how can we install Power BI for ourselves and then we are going to familiarize ourselves with its interface. Now, Power BI has a very simple interface. So, uh, if you have worked on any of the previous Microsoft tools like Microsoft Excel, then you won't be facing any problems because its interface is very simple and very similar to the Microsoft Excel interface. But still, we are going to familiarize ourselves with it. So welcome back and let's start that how can we install Power BI. So this is the URL that you need to follow to make sure that you need to install Power BI correctly on your desktop. The software that we are going to install is actually Power BI desktop. The reason why we are installing Power BI desktop is because Power BI desktop enables us to actually perform all the operations on the data like cleaning, visualizing and then generating reports based upon that data. So once you are on this URL, you will find that this is the download free option. If you just click on it, then you can download it or this is the second option. This also you can choose. But if you click on download free option, then it would open Microsoft Store. So I've already opened Microsoft Store over here and um, Power BI is actually a Microsoft application. That is why it is available in Microsoft Store itself. And here you can see that where launch is written in my PC, you will see install option. So you need to click on that install option and it would take some time to install depending upon your internet speed. And then it will actually um, configure itself according to your system specifications and then you would be able to launch Power BI. So since in my computer, Power BI is already installed, that is why I'm getting this launch option. So either you can follow these steps or what you can do is you can go to this second option, see download or language options. Once you click on it, you will get this tab in front of you. So here, what you have an option is you can select different languages in your want to uh, change the contents of Power BI. So these are all these languages that are supported by Power BI, which is an added advantage. That is, you can use it in your own native language instead of English. But whichever language you want, you can just select that language from here and then you can just click on download and Power BI will be downloaded in that particular language. One added advantage of using a Power BI software is that it updates itself every month. So every month there are some new updates that are available to you with the Power BI and with those updates, you can easily just make yourself up to date with whatever is going on in the industry. Now, since Power BI is already installed on my PC, so I'm going to just launch it. So when you just open Power BI, you are going to see this kind of a screen. If you want to sign up, you can just simply sign up over here. I'm going to skip the sign up process right now and I'm going to come back directly to my Power BI software. This is actually the very simple interface of Power BI. So we need to first familiarize ourselves with this interface. If you see that uh, this interface is having these different kinds of tabs and these ribbons, which is similar to the Microsoft Excel or any of the Microsoft tools that we have um, seen coming with the Microsoft Office package. Then there is this file option, which is also very similar to all the Microsoft Office tools. So uh, this is similar. Now the new things that we have over here is actually this filters pane, visualizations pane and the fields pane. If we talk about these panes, then right now visualizations pane is something that is to be addressed primarily. And this visualization pane has these different types of charts. So this is actually a um, small sample of the charts that are available for use in Power BI. And if you just click on these three dots, you will get this get more visuals option. So which means you can obviously get more and more visuals in Power BI. But for that, you need to sign in. So I'm just going to skip for the beginners course that we are going to discuss these types of visuals are going to be sufficient but if you want to add more visuals i will tell you later on that how can you add these more visuals 
then after the visuals have been added you can obviously apply some filters you can search for fields apart from that if you go to the home tab in power bi you have this data group in this data group the first option is get data option so here you will get these common data sources so these are actually the data sources from where you can import your data in power bi so uh, actually there are 100 of data sources so if you just click on more then you will uh, get a dialog box in which all the data sources are listed so these data sources uh, would help you to get the data suppose you want to get data from microsoft excel which is actually a version or a product of microsoft itself you can get data from excel if you want from a csv file you can get from that xml json from folder pdf sharepoint sql server access oracle ibm mysql and so many other things here you can see like impala snowflake azure everything is there obviously you can get it from power bi data sets as well and you can just see that how many data sources are available to you here you can see spark web o data feed sharepoint r script python script odbc ole database and like this you can see there are these multiple options available from wherever you want you can get a data for yourself okay so this is this uh, added advantage and there are these options available you can check these options as well from a file if you want if you want from a database you want from a power platform that is actually the power bi platform itself from azure you can get the data from the online services as well from the other sources as well uh, like web sharepoint spark hadoop etc apart from this if you want to extract the data from commonly used data sources like Excel, Power BI dataset, SQL Server, etc. You can just get it. Then there is this recent sources tab. Uh, this is available in my PC because I have been installing uh, or importing some of the data. So this is a sample data. So if I click on that, uh, this would be connecting itself to that sample data source which I have already imported previously in Power BI. So that is an, another advantage that Power BI keeps the memory of what you have actually um, taken or imported in the previous versions and that would help you suppose uh, these are all these tables and I want to just import the sales order table so once you click on any of the tables this is the preview of the table that you will get this is whole data source that you would be getting so if you want some other table like say instructions table so instructions table is there then there is this table one you can get that as well so whichever table you want its uh, preview would be available i want sample uh, sales orders table to be imported then what you can do is uh, first of all you need to know one thing that whether your data is clean or not right now my data is clean so this table is completely clean it is not containing any of the null records any of the blank values or duplicate values i have purposely imported this clean data so because in the upcoming lessons we are going to work with the clean data and later on we are going to see that how can we actually clean the data if it is an unclean data so since your data is clean you can just directly click on this load option otherwise if you want to clean your data first then there is this transform data option which you can use so i'm going to click on this load option because my data is already clean and i know that so what would it do once you click on load is it would take some time to load that data into your power bi so you can see that uh, some of the changes i'm going to just um stop right there because i don't want the changes to be applied i don't want any changes in my database so it may take some time like here you can see it is importing the data okay so now our data is imported and once your data is imported you can see all of these fields are available which were the fields of the sales order table so let's just create a very simple chart to say that how it works 
So suppose I want to create a stacked column chart. Let's just bring it here. You need to drag that particular visual that you want to use or you can just double click on it and that visual would be available for you. Okay. Now the thing is you want to add some fields. So here as soon as you add a visual this thing changes. You have an axis, your legend, values and tooltips. So in the axis I want to drag this items field. So from the fields you can simply drag the items into the axis fields and uh, this total I want to drag in the value field. So what would happen is it would take some time and you will get all the items sold like binders, you have pen sets, pencils, pens and desks sold by the number of items. Right now it is very small but if you want to just increase its size then you can do that as well. So it is all a part of data manipulation or uh, visualization manipulation which we are going to see in the next video. This is all for today's video in which we learned about um, installing the Power BI. We learned about its simple interface and how can we create a chart after importing a data. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.